Hey, what's up, guys? It's Paul Farmer here. This is uh, DB Freedom Project. That's our coaching group where we provide you with free, free step-by-step -step training to help you get massive results no matter what you're promoting online. Um, all you need to do to join the group is uh, type in DB Freedom Project, look up DB Freedom Project, come here, join, and scroll right down here at the big start here. Click on Continue Reading, you'll find the training there. Okay, so today what I want to talk about is something that I know a lot of people are struggling with, and that is uh, what do you do when you feel like you're gonna, like giving up? What do you do when you feel like giving up? And I can tell you straight out that there have been many times where I have felt like giving up. Um, there have been many times where, you know, it didn't seem to matter what I was doing. The results just were not showing. And my mind started playing tricks on me. And I started thinking, wow, you know what? Maybe this isn't meant to be. And perhaps I should, you know, just throw in the towel, give up, walk away and uh be done with it you know because it doesn't work right that's that's uh, I, I mean i've had those thoughts many 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 times it's not it's not just one time so i've been online now a little over five years i've been a full-time marketer for about three years my first two years sucked bad really bad um every single day was a struggle every single day i <laughs> I mean, I, I had basically nobody to talk to, and I was, I was just doing stuff. I was just taking action, and I didn't know what I was doing, and I wasn't making much money. I think my first two years, I made a total of probably 200 bucks, but I spent <laughs> um, way, 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 way more than that, so it was epic failure, right? Um, so what kept me going? What's kept me going all this time, despite all the companies falling apart, losing money, um, being rejected time and time and time and time and time again. What has kept me going? Um, you know, the basic thing is this. Okay, so I guess I got to tell my story just a little bit. But before I came online, I was a teacher. I was a physical education teacher. I was a personal trainer. And, you know, I was working in a school. I was a PE teacher. And a lot of the time, PE teachers are not respected. They're just flat out not respected. People, the other teachers, the staff, they kind of look at them as recreation. You know, they look at them like it's it's recess. It's anything but that. But that's how they look at it. And that 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 if your staff, if your uh, support staff, right, if your administration doesn't respect what you do, then why would the students, right? So it rubs off on the students. It all trickles down. So so basically every single day I was going out doing something that nobody seemed to care about. <laughs> um, you know, I had a passion. I got into it because I had a passion because I was working at a high school as a, uh, I guess you would call it a security. I think it was called something else. I can't remember what it was called, but Campus 8 is what it was called. And my job was just to make sure the students were where they were supposed to be. They were in class. They were whatever. But every day I'd watch the PE teacher bring in the students. And I noticed that, you know, these students were just so unmotivated. And so, like, they were overweight. They were just totally out of shape. It was just pathetic. And I was just like, man, how in the world does that happen when they're out there every day, like 40 minutes a day? And, uh. You know, T. Harv Eker says, if you want to understand something, you got to get in the corridor, right? You need to get into it to really understand it. So it wasn't until I actually started teaching that I started understanding and seeing the problems associated with teaching, especially in physical education. And uh, like I said, one of, the, one of the problems is there's no respect. There's no accountability. When it comes to the state testing, um, this was true in California. I don't know if it's true in other states, but... They don't pay like the other the other subjects get paid, right? They get paid a certain amount for what the students perform, right? What they make the 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 school gets paid, gets funded, but physical education there was no accountability, there was no nothing. So it didn't matter if your students performed well on the fitness tests, 
the state fitness test, or if they performed poorly, the school wouldn't get any money. So no one paid any attention to any of that stuff. So anyway, I'm sharing all this with you because I was flat out frustrated. I remember many times thinking, wow, you know what? I know I'm meant to do more on this because I didn't feel like I was doing anything. And the reason I share this with you is because, quite literally, I was miserable. Like, I was showing up every day. I liked teaching. It wasn't that I didn't like teaching. I didn't like all the other stuff, all the politics, all the nonsense you had to deal with. And I knew I didn't feel like I was getting through to anybody. So, I don't know. You know, the door got shut on me there. Like, I, I had a job. I was, I was doing fine. But in 2010, I got laid off. And I believe that was for a reason. All things happen for the good, right? And uh, I ended up coming online. It's been nothing but a, but a struggle uh, my first two years. And um, like I said, there were many times when I, I felt like giving up. But here's what has kept me going. This is, one, this is what first kept me going. The thought of going back to teaching. Or worse, the thought of taking a job that didn't even pay as much as teaching did. Doing me uh, doing uh, tedious tasks and answering to people that didn't even have my education, you know. Um, and I don't mean that in a snobby way. I'm just saying that drove me to keep going. So what I'm saying here is you need to find, you need to go back to what it is that brought you online in the first place, whatever that vision is, because at some point, you were probably told you need to have a big why, a vision, a purpose, a big reason. And it has to be bigger than just making money. Well, my reason for coming online originally was to make money on my own. That was my original reason. But as time has gone by, of course, my why has changed. You know, my why has changed to, you know, I want to be able to be free and take care of my family. So we don't ever have to worry about money ever again because I've been through the dry times. I know what it feels like. Um, I want to be able to take care of my parents and my friends. You know, if anything happens, I want to be able to do that. I want to be able to provide for my community. I want to be able to inspire thousands of people to live to their full potential, to stop being broke, right? To stop struggling, to actually be financially free. These are, these are just some of the things I want to do, I am doing, but I want to do it at a larger scale, and this is what continues to drive me from giving up. So when I do have the lean months where they don't go as well as I want them to go, where the results are not where, they wa- where I want them to be, what keeps me going are these things. I go back to why I started. So that's, you have to, if, if you didn't have a strong why to begin with, then chances are of you continuing when things go wrong, when you are not seeing results, when you want to give up every single day, when you think the other way is easier, you have to go back to why you started. Okay, but you have to have a strong why to begin with. Um, Anyway, that's that's just, that's what drives me. Every single day, that drives me. The other thing that drives me is I know if I quit... All this time, all the money, all the effort I've put into something, into this, is a waste. It's an absolute waste. And you have to start all over. So, why quit? The other reason is, people are rewarded for perseverance. Every single person I know that's super successful, that you see... (laughs) It wasn't easy for them. They got to where they're at because they didn't quit. They refused to quit and they persevered. They kept going no matter how many times they got rejected. No matter how many times it went wrong for them. They kept going. That's the difference. The the difference isn't that they're better than you. The difference isn't that they have more resources than you. The difference is they kept going. They didn't stop. When life kicked them in the stomach, punched them in the face, stomped on them when they were down, they got back up and they kept going. That is the difference. I see so many people just throwing in the towel just because, oh, well, you know, I got a thousand leads and they didn't do anything 
And well, I guess it doesn't work. So I'm just going to go back to working my nine to five job because you know what? That's easier. That's not easier. That's just you giving up on your dreams. That's just give you giving up, period. Because it didn't work out for you. In your mind, it's not possible, right? So whatever you're doing, you know, if, if you're in that space right now, if you're thinking, you know what? Like maybe you just woke up today and you're like, man, this is just not working for me. Everything I do, it just doesn't seem to work. If you're there, go back to why you started in the first place. And if your why is strong enough, it should keep you going. If your pain is strong enough, it should keep you going. Because I'm going to tell you something. The the one year I went back to teaching, I, I, I came back as a part-time teacher because that's all there was. That was a painful experience for me. I was around teachers that did nothing but complain. I was around students that were just complete, um, totally uh, disrespectful. I'll say that, disrespectful. I was around an administration that offered zero support to their teachers. So, you know, that pain for me, or going back to like driving on a forklift like I used to do that, or working you know, on holidays and working 12 hours, 14 hour days like I used to do before I was teaching. That pain pushes me forward because, you know what, if all you do is go on Facebook and start connecting with people, isn't that better than sweating your freaking butt off in the hot sun every day? (laughs) Isn't that better than sitting in a cubicle all day? Staring out, wishing things were different. I mean, (laughs) pushing papers. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you love your job. I know there are people that absolutely love their job. And and you know what? That's awesome. We need people to have jobs, obviously. For me, though, waking up to an alarm clock, sitting in traffic every day, telling somebody when I can go to the bathroom, jumping through hoops. It's not for me. It never was for me. It's not for me. And that's why I refuse, no matter what is thrown at me. And let me tell you, I've had a lot thrown at me. I refuse to give up. And I always go back to that. I go back to the pain. I go back to why I'm doing this. And it's it's not about me. It's not about me. You know, Grant Cardone says success is your duty, your obligation, and your responsibility. Because it's not just about you. It's about your family. It's about your friends. It's about your community. It's about your country. Right? You can't help anyone if you're not in a position to help. (laughs) It's as simple as that. You can't inspire anyone if you're not in the position to inspire. So people aren't going to listen to you. If you're not getting any results, they're not going to listen to you. That that would be like, (laughs) that just doesn't make any sense. Anyway, that's what you do. You go back to the beginning why you're here in the first place, if, if you need to focus on the pain. Because what's going to happen if you quit? Is anything going to change if you quit? Is, it gonna, is your life going to get better if you quit? I mean, these are things I think about. Is your life going to get better if you quit? Probably not. That's my guess. Anyway, I hope you got value. I hope and trust you got value. If you did, please like, share, and comment. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, If you would like to learn how to make a full-time income fast, fast, um, go ahead and click on the link right below this video. Um, What that is, it's it's considered a high ticket, meaning um, high entry, big commission program. Uh, Basically where everything is done, you just focus on lead generation. Everything's done for you, but you just focus on lead generation. They have phone closers. People go through the funnel. And, uh, you know, the phone closers close the sales for you and send you big commission checks when that happens. Okay, so you focus on lead generation. If that sounds like something that might work for you, you know, maybe you're in a place where you're just not making much money. Maybe you're, maybe you're doing a little low ticket programs. And you're tired of making tiny little commissions. Maybe you would like to get your bills paid fast. Maybe you'd like to go on more vacations, you know, or a vacation. Maybe you like to quit your job. I don't know. You just want some extra money. Um, 
Go ahead and click on that link. Check it out because it absolutely is a vehicle that can do that for you. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.